Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box, and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Happy Monday, you guys. Hope you all had an awesome weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the project I put up yesterday for you as well. So let's jump into this. Number one, want to give you a friendly reminder. If you are not in my VIP group, now is the time to be in there. Um, my 12 days of Christmas sale is on. We're up to day seven. We still have five days left and they are awesome things. So I want to remind you, as long as you were not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love for you to join my VIP group. Now let's talk Club Couture. <clears throat> Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month. It's only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada, and it will ship free to you every single month. Now, what will ship free to you? You will get an exclusive size B transfer that only Chalk Couture designers and Club Couture customers can get, along with three coordinating Chalk Piece singles. And this one on your screen happens to be our December 2020 Club Couture. Now, that is not all you will get. Number one, you will get access into my private Club Couture group where I go live every single month or I post projects every single month, at least three of them, to give you the most bang for your buck. You will also get exclusive flat rate shipping. All my customers currently receive flat rate shipping of $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada. But as a Club Couture customer, you'll receive bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the U.S. and $9.95 in Canada. And that's on your whole order, you guys. You will also and finally get access to exclusive offers and deals directly from Chalk Couture for being one of my Club Couture customers. This month's special is called A All The Way and it's super awesome. All you need to do is log into your Club Couture account on my website and go to the Club Couture promos and there will be a selection of about 25 size a transfers that are while supplies last that you can take home for half price five dollars us seven dollars canadian so do not miss out if you'd like to sign up for club couture all the details can be found in the description of this video on both youtube and facebook now let's talk about my next and favorite thing ever and that is the ability to purchase your business in a box launch your empire and join my award-winning team this is the new designer kit, AKA Business in a Box, and it is absolutely awesome. It is a small investment of $99 plus tax in the, and shipping in the US, $135 plus tax and shipping in Canada. 
you will get a box valued at 250 US, 330 Canadian, and it will come with five three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the README, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers along with that monthly club couture transfer. Now I realize I may have just rattled off a whole lot of info at you and you might be saying, Jess, that's great and all, but I still got questions. Please don't worry, I have your answers. In the description of the video on both Facebook and YouTube, you will find a link to my opportunity group. Join that group. In the opportunity group, there's a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team, you guys. I want it to be something you're completely happy with. Now, finally, before we jump into this, guys, tomorrow is our winter warm-up launch. It will be 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. There are 11 new items, 10 of which are transfers. One are those super cute cut-up hearts. I am, or heart cutouts, rather. I'm so pumped about it. I cannot wait. 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time right on my website. Now, while I finish getting my camera angles all in the right order here, here is a little something for all my friends who are brand new uh, to learning all about Club Couture. So let's see who we have. Hi, Lisa Batten. Thank you for sprinkling. Hi, Cat White. Hi, Andy Short. Hi, Mary Carol. Hey, Leah Parker. Hi, Karen Bowden. Hey, Carolyn Bonner. Hi, Debbie Green. How are you? Hey, Susan Johnson. Hi, Karen Johnson. Hi, Mary Egger. Hi, Sherry Jensen. Hi. Hello, you guys. Happy Monday. Um, I am so excited to um, do the project today. And you guys are going to see, guess what? No longer cast in shadows. We rearranged in here in the little office area. So we now have much better viewing um, and there will no longer be shadows. Yay, look at that. It's nice and bright all over again without me using any extra lighting. So remember the other day I promised you we were going to finish up our, our surface that we made. We did the stockings were hung on our sweet Odette. Whoops. And today we're going to do um, the, we're going to finish up this surface. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, we're going to finish up this surface, this sweet Odette surface, um, with some cute little pillows. How adorable are these? So let's go ahead and let's get this done. Hi, Carol Pierce. How are you? Thanks, Debbie. I was hoping there would be no more shadows being cast. So what we're going to do is now this link to get all of these items are in the description of the video on both YouTube and Facebook. We have our awesome new cart link, which is super great. Um, so I'll tell you what items I'm using today. I'm going to be using the stockings for hung and I'm going to be using, um, a piece of a hanging banner refill, the 15 by 23 size. We're going to need some cotton balls because that's, what's going to be our stuffing. And then we're going to use the colors that come in the, the holiday, or I think it's called the Christmas palette pack. Let me double check that. Hold on. I keep calling it the wrong thing. It is the Holiday Palette Pack. So we're going to use those colors. The colors that come in that are Shimmer Silver, Shimmer Gold, Bright White, Black Velvet, Candy Apple, and Meadow. So we're going to be using a mix of those colors. And it's super exciting that the Palette Pack is back in stock, you guys. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Look, I even found these cute little clothespins. I'm going to make a few of these so that way, if I could stop being stuck to it. What is happening? Hold on. There it goes. Um, I'm going to make a few... So that way we can do some on here. And then I have some for tier trays that I can make to pop in to the store. Okay, so let's do that. So I just wanted to show you what we did the other day first. So let me put this out of the way. Uh -oh. Okay, now let's get this going. Now I may need a bigger piece of this, but we'll see. Okay, so we already used this before, so we have stockings, one. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make these. So I'm going to put this down as far as I can. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop these. So let's think what colors we want. I think I'm going to do candy apple and meadow again. And then I think we're going to do the details and shimmer gold today. I think that'll be cute, don't you guys think? Let's get some squeegees. Okay. 
All right, so I think I'm gonna do it the same colors that I did actually for the sign. I think that will make more sense because that way if it you know comes up a little bit, um, you'll still see the same colors underneath. I think that'll make more sense. So I'm gonna redo them the same way. You love the heart stevy green, I'm so glad. Oh, thanks, Carolyn Bonner. I appreciate that. I think that the project is super cute, too. As soon as I'm done with it, I'll get it into my store. And guys, I'm pretty sure today is the last Christmas project that I'm making. Um, I don't think there was anything else that I wanted to make. You might get a bonus one here or there for something that I wanted to put in my house that I didn't get a chance to do. But otherwise hopefully keep your fingers crossed i did do next day shipping for my winter warm-up okay so hopefully oh that's a big chunk of gross um so hopefully i'll be getting them tomorrow and i'll be able to start fresh on launch day with a project so we shall see i'll stock out the the um fedex guy and we'll see what happens. Okay, well, there we go. I'm already a mess. Didn't take long. Let's go ahead and let's get this peeled back. And I need a little water here. Dry just a little because I was taking a little too long talking. go look there's the start of our stockings you guys I still got to make one more green guy so I'm just going to push that out of the way for a sec let's go ahead and get these dried now if you notice I did not fuzz and that's because I was putting the transfer onto um, a canvas material I wanted it to stick really well hi Gloria yes Debbie they sure are hi Dion You wish, you wish you did, Kat? <laughs> Hello, Miss Jenny Davis from Georgia. How you doing, girl? Okay, so we've got that done. Now, like I said, I still want to do another little green guy. So I'm going to turn this. Wait, hold on. I need a napkin so I can clean up where I went and made a little bit. Oh, you know what? I've got my old fuzzing tail that you guys know I haven't washed in forever. So we'll just use that. I don't mind if it gets stained. Whoa. There we go. Okay, so let's do one more. Maybe what I should do is actually this. Let's go ahead and let's get these cut first. So that way I can maybe save um, some room. There we go. Let's get that cut up. I might be able to squeeze. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do that. That's okay. This is going to be so cute, you guys. Oh, I can't wait. And this is my non-transfer trimmer trimmers these are the ones that i have set aside for my fabric just so you know hi kathy wilkie i'm glad you caught me too hi kristen i'll be glad when oh debbie green i would love for you to come by and visit the store i just put out all the rest of the holiday stuff today you guys Get our last little cute stocking done here. 
you know what you guys I just realized I did something that was not right we had a second layer to put on these and <laughs> I didn't cut and forgot about them well dang it we'll have to correct that let's get that next layer on I forgot about it how I managed to forget about it I don't really know And we do have registration marks for them, but because I was doing this on fabric, I didn't want to do that. Let's put this on here so that way it makes it easier for me and it doesn't stick everywhere. The um, the scanner for the ornament, the code is uh, to the right hand side, Mads. There's all of them there. They're all for the donate ones are all in the basket. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. You could pick. Yep. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you could pick two to donate, sure. Yeah. Okay, so I did black velvet. Hi, Kim Jensen. This is chalk, Zorro Houdini. That's what I did this with. This would have been much easier if I would have done this while it was not cut, you guys. Just so you know, so don't don't do what I do. see how it, it does start at this part. Let me show you guys. I'll be right back. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's totally fine. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> so what I have them, what I have them do is just write a little note, just a little something in okay. the card. Okay. Here are some blank ones. Okay. So you. Oh, those are you. Those are the ones that go in here. They're already done. Okay. So there's those, and then here's ornaments in here. There's okay. a red one okay. and green one. Okay. And then you just just write them, whatever you feel comfortable writing, and then I just seal them up with the tape because. Okay. Nobody wants to lick an envelope right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Okay, I just got to line this back up. Right. So, definitely use the registration marks. It will make your life so much easier. Mine is a little bit off, but that's okay. I'm all right with it. It's okay. 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 Oh, that's precious. Okay, so we got two. So now we got to just finish this one.
There we go. We'll get this one done. And then we'll do one more little green guy separate. But we'll, I'll do that. I don't need to do that. Well, yeah, I do, because I want to show you guys how I'm putting it together. So I do have to do that. Oh, I love it. Look how cute that's going to be. Okay, so let's start off with these three. Or you know what? Let's go ahead and chalk another one. Really quickly, we'll chalk one more green guy up here. Yep. Which one? Which one is this? Uh, um, they're called uh, the bottom right hand side. It says chalk ornament. Chalk and something else. I think they're five ninety nine. Those ones. Do you see? I uh, very bottom right hand side of the scanners. I wrote it in there. Okay. Do you see it? I think so. Okay, cool. If not, let me know. I'll come grab it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that one. Okay. Go. Oh, that was. Oh, dry because I left it open, you guys. The good thing is, is it's going to get a topper here. Okay. So that one's good. We'll dry it up real quick. Oh, what happened to the comments? There we go. Right, Lisa? Agreed. You're welcome, Zora Houdini. Yes, Kristen, tomorrow. Hi, Sean Marie Turner. Hi, Kim. This part in. Hopefully, I can see through to do it. Does she have her number? Uh, for uh, for little coupons? I was in here before. I did get them, so I can give it to you. Okay. Oh, I can tell you because I learned. So when you're at the spot where it shows like everything that's rung in, there's a blue button that says loyalty. If you hit that and you then go to the screen where you search, okay. it does the phone number. Oh, okay. You could just put it in then. Just put the phone number in. When it, after, when it, like, when you go to the receipt part. Okay. This was a little dry on here, you guys. This is why I'm doing this. Because I had a little bit of excess that was hard. In the silk screen. So I want to make sure it all gets through. That's pretty good. That'll work. Okay, let's go ahead and get our lids on. And as you guys can see, I am like down to the bottom of the barrel of all of my paste. I need new paste. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. All right. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Tony. How are you? Okay. So I don't make a mess. Let's get that up. Now what I'm going to do is, I think the thing that will be the easiest. There 
there's that. And then I'll have enough room to do that one, so yay. Okay, actually, let's get this cut out so that way they're all cut. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for coming back in. No I appreciate you. Yay! Every Monday. You'll always be excited. Every Monday. Oh, I appreciate you. You too. Thank you. Okay. So there we go. So now we've got them all ready and placed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get my hot glue gun has already been plugged in. And we're going to get our cute little cotton balls. Okay. I have to take this off now. Oh, I'm glad that you're able to take a break then, Tony. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and glue everything but the top, you guys. We just want to go along the edge. Hopefully I'm in the frame doing this. Now I have to remember that I have a new frame. Okay. So we're going to just go all along the edge. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, oops, we're gonna push it down. Now this is just regular old, oh darn it, I didn't go in far enough, so this one might be a little wonky. Well, the whole stocking's wonky here, so that's fine. Okay, so there's that one. I'm gonna repeat it for all three of them. Yeah, you guys, if you don't have the canvas banner refills, you need to take advantage of some of them because you can make so many cute little stuffed pillows with them. It's not even funny. Okay, now you always wanna push outwards. Push outwards, push outwards, because you don't wanna push inwards because when it goes time to stuffing them, it'll seal. And you obviously don't want that to happen. So when you're pushing it down, you wanna push from where the glue spot is outwards, okay? I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to glue just the sides and leave my top open. I'm trying not to burn myself. Okay, so push outwards. Aye, that's hot. Way hot. And it doesn't help that I can't use all my fingers because, well, you know, played with chalk. It doesn't help. <laughs> All right, last one. And then we're gonna stuff them and then we'll cut them. Of course, I would need another glue stick right now. Okay, last one. Yikes, it's glued to my finger. Did not feel good. Okay. Push outwards, push outwards, push outwards. Okay, so we've got them all done. Now we're gonna stuff them all. Actually, you know what? Let's cut them first and then we'll stuff them because sometimes it makes it a little awkward to stuff while they're still glued down. So let's go ahead and let's cut. And you're just gonna make like a quick outline, a uh, quick cut around the outline okay and you can get the little mini clothespins that we're going to be using to put them on the surface I think any craft store has them I got mine from Dollar Tree they were a buck um, they're going to be super cute well thank you cat Hi, Carol in Indiana. How are you doing? Yeah, I have to tell you, you guys, I've already made, I think, two or three Valentine's Day projects, and I was having so much fun making them. I think I am ready to be done deck, uh, making Christmas and ready to relax and enjoy it. I feel like that's I feel like that's what's happening a 
And don't get me wrong, we'll be doing Christmas in July, so I'll be pulling this stuff out again very soon in the near future because, you know, 2020, even though it felt like forever, it really did go pretty quick, believe it or not. In my mind, it did. Oh my gosh, these are so precious. It's so quiet in here without the heat on or Alexa. Yep. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Julie Miller. Late, but made it for my live from Ithaca, New York. How are you? Is it snowing there, Julie? Jessica, you don't have to use fabric. No, Mary, I never use fabric glue. Um, I was using, I shouldn't say never. I used to use the, um, what is it called? I still have it. Fabri yeah, fabric tack. But I've learned with these little mini, um, little mini itty bitty pillows, the Gorilla Hot Glue works just as good. Don't get me wrong, the fabric tack is fine too. You could use the fabric tack if you had it. I don't need it. I haven't been using it for a while and it's, I mean, for some of the bigger things, I will still use the fabric tack for sure. Um, but I haven't been lately. Okay. So we've got all that done. Oh, I'll throw that away in a sec. So all of our cute little pillows are all done. So now we need to stuff them all. Okay. And I hardly left room for even my finger to fit in. So that's going to be so good. <laughs> all right. Now I need my detail tool because that is how we're gonna stuff it in because it is super teeny tiny, the little opening here. Okay, so we're gonna just, oh, actually I may not need, well, yeah, I will because I'll need to stuff it down a little bit further. Now you don't wanna overstuff and you don't wanna over push because you know what's gonna happen? I just did it. I busted the seam. And you know what, actually, oh, I just busted it all the way down. So you know what, let's re-glue it. You don't want to overstuff. Pay attention to what I just did. Okay. Let me just get this glued back together. OMG, that's hot. Wow, that's hot. It's 31. Wow. But the driveway and walkway is all ice. Wow, Julie. Hi, Maria. St. P. How you doing, girl? Oh, okay. I think this is going to be the last little one I'm going to stick in here because, like I said, I don't... Eh, I could do a little bit more. And this might push it over the edge where it's going to want to pop again, but we'll see. Oh, no, I think I'm just, just good. Just, just good. There we go. Now we're going to seal this guy up and we're going to repeat this with all of the other three. Okay. And you know what else we got to do? We got to dirty it up because you know, I like my little pillows to be a little dingy. Okay. Let's keep on going. Let's stuff it in. And yeah, you guys, I'm just using regular old cotton balls. Sneaking a peek, Marie. You're so cute. MSP, I should call you when you're at work. So that way you don't, you know, they don't know. They don't know you're on. <laughs> okay. So this little guy is the one that wants to burst because I can't get that angle. But you know what? The detail tool totally just helped. Ugh, but I did split it a little bit, so I'm going to be super careful here. I'm going to glue that back up. Aren't they so precious? Hi, Teresa in Montana. How you doing, girly? I'm so glad you joined, Teresa. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to just keep on stuffing away here. This, I think, will be the last one because I won't open. I won't rip that one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, there's a spot that's missing. Hold on. There we go. Oh, well, now I can still feel it. I got you addicted to it, Kat. You're so funny. Girl, I love, I love, love, love that 
old look. And it's so funny, when my mom used to get stuff like this when I was younger, like my mom was the coolest country girl ever. She loved all the vintage country uh, farmhouse and she was cool before it was cool. I'm just gonna tell you guys that. She was cool about it then. And she says it all the time to me. I had stuff like this and you didn't like it when you were little. Well, when I was little, I didn't have taste, Mom. I don't know what to tell you. Huh. But I love it now. And she used to go to this place and they had these little itty bitty pillows that she would put on the pie safe for the hutch. And she would love them. And she would decorate with them. And they were all like yellow aged, which probably was like the tea bag um, technique. I'm sure they did. Um, which... Like I said, I used to think they were dirty. Like, Mommy, why would you buy dirty things? Nope. They were probably made to look that way because that was the look. Okay, these guys were so easy to stuff. These little green guys. Seal them up. Oh, my God. I think the green ones are my favorite pillows. They're so cute. Okay, this guy looks like he was in a really bad fight. <laughs> and he lost. He uh, is worse for wear. But that's okay. That's okay. Oops, we split. Got to glue this closed again. Got to be careful, you guys. Don't do what I keep doing. Don't be a brute about it. go okay close him up here okay there we go yay mary i know you've been waiting forever for those holiday pattern duos i'm so glad you were able to order them when they came back last week it's funny how our taste changed i sent my decor from 30 years ago i think what the what the heavy was wrong with me? Gives me a little gimme country. You're so funny. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Now, if you wanted to make the stockings be 3D. Oh, okay. I thought I did it backwards. Okay. What you could do is you could glue them onto either A, the surface, or B, you can do a little piece of twine, which is what I want to do. Hold on, let me grab that. Oops. You're good. You are so good. I actually even have this too, which I might want to use. I don't really know. I have this like fun. Ow. Oh, I'm sliding. Ugh. Okay. I have this cool rope stuff that I had gotten from, oh God, I don't even remember, but we used it for my little retreat in a box. And look how cute this is gonna look. One, two, three, four. I might do two per. Okay. So you could go like this. Oh wait, we gotta dirty them up. What am I doing? Where's my, where's my, there it is. How could I have forgotten? We were just talking about it, right? Okay, so I like the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. It's the Tim Holtz Distress Ink that I use. And see, look at that. You can already see how it's getting a little bit of a darker, dirty color to it. It's funny, even when I did other types of crafting, when I did paper crafting, I always distressed. I just always liked that dirty, dingy look. Ooh, look how cute that looks. So cute. I don't even know if you can really see it super well in the video, but it is beyond precious here. Mm. Oh, I love it. We got to do the back too because you know what the back is wide open and that would just look ridiculous if we didn't do the back make it look all dirty 
have to do it with the green one too. Aich. Okay. Get this guy all done, even though this guy is already vintaged. <laughs> is that twine rope too big? Um, it might be. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Hi, M. Blackwood from Nashville, Tennessee. I love all your videos. Thanks for always teaching, giving up precious. Oh, you are so sweet. I am happy to. I love sharing. I love sharing my ideas and helping you guys get some good stuff, creative juices going so you can recreate it. Wait. Okay. So we got one, two, three. We got the last one and we're done. Then we can put it on. Now, like I said, I have either twine or this rope stuff. We'll see which looks better. We will figure it out. Oh, I could have stuffed him a little more. Darn it. He's he's like he's limpy right there. It's okay. It's okay. I bought the mini clothespins that are red, green, gold, and silver. From my friend Joanne's brother store, Julie Miller. I love how you say that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. All right. So we are nice and dingy and vintaged and distressed for our cute little pillows. So let's get this out of the way. Whoopsie. Let's go over here. Okay. Now, this guy goes here. This guy goes here. Well, we're going to put him there. Him there. Him here. Oh, that'll be so cute. Let's see. Oh, you did, Mar uh, M. Blackwood, huh? I, I, like, I like the idea that this, that... Chalk Couture, like they already have the ideas for us that I don't have to worry about. Um, that I don't have to go through all the stuff to do that. Yeah, you totally need to rewatch for sure. Okay, this is going to be too cute. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Too precious. Oh, what happened to this clothespin? This clothespin is jacked up. Okay. Oh my goodness, I love it. Love, love, love. Oh, and Blackwood, I would love to have you on the team. You'll love it. Okay, you guys, this is so precious. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Where's my scissors? Where are you? Come here. Come here, all sizzles. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Whoops, I knocked the transfers into where you guys could see what I was doing. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh. Will you take a look at this? Oh my gosh, it's precious. Okay, I'm going to put just a little dab of glue here. Just a little teeny tiny dab. Because in case... Ay, darn it. Darn it, darn it. I'm going to just hold it like this because I just burned myself pretty good. How do you still have feeling in your fingers? I don't know. <laughs> How do I even have finger? How do I still even have fingerprints? I don't even know. Oh, and it's stuck on there. That's going to be a blister later. Especially because I can't get the glue off. There it goes. Okay. Just a little bit, a little glob, a little, little bit, so I don't burn myself even more again. And I'll just hold around it. <gasps> this is precious. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. You guys, how stinking cute is this? Let's come up here so you can see it like this. Look at that. And then if you don't like the 3D part, you could just take it off because the stockings are underneath it too. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys, isn't that so cute? It's cute. I love it. Um, Where are my, I know, Lisa, I got to find them. They're inside the one thing that I got to do that review on. Um, Looking forward to doing one of these. Yeah, Sherry, you have to. My Lord, that is rocking the bells. Oh, you are so cute on Blackwood. <sighs> Okay, you guys, so if you want to get any of these items, everything's listed in the description of this video. The new cart link is active, so that way everything that I put on the link, it's going to pull up in the cart. If you have already have some of these things, you can remove it. If you want to add something else, you can, but the stuff that I use today is in there. Um, don't forget, tomorrow, uh, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, our winter warm-up mini brochure will be live. 11 new items. You guys, the hearts are so stinking precious, the heart cutouts. You definitely want to jump back on tomorrow. Um, wait do you see the cute transfers. They're so cute. I did put the link to the new um, brochure catalog. Um, it's on my business page and it is in my VIP group. And friendly reminder, today is day seven of my 12 days of Christmas. To see what the special is, you must be in my VIP group. I can't um, uh, broadcast it publicly. It's got to be behind the scenes in a closed group. So definitely take a look at it. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Mary. Transfer I save. Yay, Julie Miller. I can't wait to see what you do with it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you want to shop for other things or see what else is in my store, here is the link right here. Um, otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow with another super fun project. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. I don't think I have anything more to say. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.